Is there a future, a potential, for high-speed passenger rail services in Canada? That was the question the federal government posed to Viha Rail Canada in 1981. After three years of intensive effort, Viha has completed one of the most comprehensive studies ever made of any aspect of the passenger railway system in Canada. The feasibility study thus depicts possible approaches to using high-speed passenger rail advances in Canada, yet tailored specifically to Canadian conditions and needs. There is little doubt that consideration of high-speed rail will be a key part of longer-range national plans for modernizing Canada's passenger railway system. Signed, President and Chief Executive Officer Viha Rail Canada, 1984. Study Conclusions The feasibility study indicates that the Canadian government could, if it wished, provide Canada with a high-performance railway service between Montreal, Ottawa and Toronto with speeds up to 300 kilometers an hour. There would also be an improved level of service of 155 kilometers an hour between Quebec City and Montreal and in southwestern Ontario, while at the same time improving Viha's financial position. The revenues generated by these services would cover all of the operating and maintenance costs and allow for the repayment of the total capital invested at a 2.8% real rate of return. Incrementally, the real rate of return would be 5.4%. In the case of the Western Corridor between Edmonton and Calgary, the total travel market, from which rail passengers would have to be attracted, was found to be insufficient to recover, on a commercial basis, the investment necessary to provide a high-performance rail service. Commercially, the most economic solution is to continue service according to the business plan using Bud Rail diesel cars. Fast forward to now, 40 years later. Will we finally get high-speed rail in Canada? Time will tell. Visit High Speed Rail Canada website to learn more.